Welcome back to Hackcode. In this video, we're tackling an essential problem for coding interviews, search in rotated sorted array from lead code. This problem is great for learning modified binary search techniques on a rotated array. We'll explore two approaches, brute force and modified binary search. Let's break down the problem step by step and understand how these solutions work. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. So what is the following statement? There is an integer array nums sorted in ascending order with recent values. So our array nums is sorted in ascending order and that has recent values, so there is no duplicates. Prior to being passed to your function, nums is possibly rotated at unknown pivot index k, such that the resulting array is nums of k, nums of k plus 1, and nums of n minus 1 and nums of 0. So basically, when it is rotated to k, so all the way from k to uh, n minus 1, it would be at the first part, and next part would be from 0 to k minus 1, okay? And they mentioned it's 0 index. For example, so this array might be rotated at pivot index 3. So from 3, uh, whatever index we have, like this is the index 3, right? 0, 1, 2, 3. So from 3 to what all index we have 4, 5, 6, 7. So till all that points would be at the first part of the array and next would be from 0 to k minus 1. That is k is here 3. So 0 to 2 index would be here at the end. Okay. Given the array nums after the possible rotation and an integer target. Return index of target if it is in nums or minus 1 if it is not in nums. So basically if the target is found in nums we should return the index else minus 1. Okay. You must write an algorithm with of log and runtime complexity. So basically, guys, uh, here this is a binary search. Okay, they clearly mentioned that of log and runtime complexity. So you can't go with of and time complexity, but we'll explore of n and of log n as well. Whenever you see of log n for rotated sort array, it definitely means that you have to apply the binary search. That should be a definitely a problem of modified binary search. Okay. So uh, let's look at the examples. In example one, what we have nums is given like this and the target is zero. So we have the target for at index four, that's why written four. So here, if you see clearly, um, this would be the uh, array from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So for this example, the pivot index is three, as they mentioned here, okay? In example two, we have the same array, but with a different target. In this case, the target is not found in the nums, so we written minus one. Same for example three, we don't have target in nums, so, so we written minus one. So constraints, nums length is in the enclosure range of 1 to 5000. So in the best case, the length of the nums would be 1 and the worst case would be 5000. So next is nums of 5 is in the enclosure range of minus 10 power 4 to 10 power 4. So basically they are saying the elements range within the nums. All values of nums are unique. So they already mentioned in the question. Next is nums is an ascending array that is possibly rotated. So this also they mentioned in the question. And the target also lies between the minus 10 power 4 to 10 power 4. So this is the boilerplate code given, wherein we have a method search which takes nums and target. So here nums is a list of integers and the target is an integer and this method returns integer. So this integer is what uh, the index of the element if it is there in the array, if not we return minus one. Before we get started, I want to remind you about our exclusive blind and fair post. This carefully curated collection covers essential coding interview problems to help you master the most common patterns and excel in your interviews. Whether you are prepping for fang level interviews or just sharpening your problem solving skills, these problems will ensure you are ready for anything. Even if the exact questions aren't asked, they cover all the important patterns. So be sure to check out our playlist and stay ahead of the completion. Approach one, brute force. So basically here, uh, this approach is not recommended for this. They also mentioned of login, but I'm just covering it so that like you get the idea of it. Here the intuition is, we have to simply scan through the entire array to find the target. Though it's a straightforward, this method doesn't utilize the sorted or rotated nature of the array, making it inefficient for the larger inputs. So guys, uh, I'm just giving you a heads up. We have to solve this in O of login, but I'm letting you know that this is a straightforward approach. So this is just for giving you an idea of how to solve this in a naive way. It's not an efficient approach. So what's algorithm? So simply here, we just need to iterate to the array from first to last element. So for each element, check if it matches with the target. If a match is found, return the index. If no match is found, return minus one after completing the loop. Okay, it's just a basic thing. We just need to go to the each element and then if the element is matched for the target, we return that index. Else at the end, we return minus one. So let's look into code. So here we just iterating to the array and then we're checking if nums of i is equal to target. Okay, so if it is the same of target, we just return the index. So we're returning i. So at the end, if you don't find anything, we just return the minus one. So what are complex is prime complex is o of n because we're just iterating to the array in only once and each element is passed only once. Space complexity is O of 1 because we don't use any extra data structure that goes with the size of the input. Okay. So I got the code right here. Let me try running this. So this accepted. So let me test around this. So this is also an accepted solution for all the test cases, but we should solve this problem using binary search approach. 
సో దట్స్ వాట్ ది ఎక్స్పెసిట్లో మనసు ఓ ఫ్లాగ్ అండ్ రన్ టైమ్ కాంప్లెక్స్ బట్ అవర్ రన్ టైమ్ కాంప్లెక్స్ ఈస్ ఓ ఆఫ్ ఎన్ సో వీ షుడ్ బీ సాల్వింగ్ దిస్ ఇన్ ఓ ఆఫ్ లాగ్ అండ్ ఫర్ దట్ వీ షుడ్ బీ యూజింగ్ ద బనే సర్చ్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ డైరెక్ట్ బనే సర్చ్ ఆ సర్చ్ హియర్ వీ జస్ టు మాడిఫై ద బనే సర్చ్ ఫర్ ద రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఓకే సో లెట్స్ టుక్ దట్ అప్రోచ్ సో అప్రోచ్ మాడిఫైడ్ బనే సర్చ్ So before going to this, I'll give the base of binary search. So let's say we, we have the sorted array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here we don't need to search our element in a like sequential order. Let's say we're searching for 3. So for that, uh, we can directly check like if mid or like left or right, right? Basically, this is sorted array. We had to use the properties of sorted. So it's just similar to your uh, searching in dictionary. So you dictionary you have all over sorted, right? So that's why let's say we're searching for the words now. Firstly, you'd go to the N alphabet and then you go for the words ranging from N U. Okay. It's just like that. So similarly here we can use the strategy. So we can decide the mid using our indexes. Firstly we have our indexes 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So our mid would be left plus right by 2. This is always an integer division. Because uh, array index is always an integer, right? Okay. So here left is 0 for the initial thing. And right is what? 4. So by 2. Which is 2. So mid is 2. So firstly we check uh, if our target is equal to mid. Okay. So fortunately in this case our target is equals to 3 so which is our mid element so let's say we're searching for the 4 then uh, what we can search we don't need to search the whole array we can just divide the search space by half we just need to check if this uh, array mid element is greater than or less than our target so if it is greater than our target then we need to search in our left half so that means that it is a sorted array and that would lie in the left half only so we had to adjust our left hand accordingly so in this case uh, the left would remain zero and the right would be right what mid minus one so let's say our mid is less than our target in this case since the array is sorted the target would be on the right half of the array so for that we had to adjust the boundaries so here the left changes left is what mid plus one and then right remains same so that's a basic idea so how do we up play the same approach to here here the array is given as 0 1 2 4 5 6 7 and the pivot index is what 3 so let me write the indexes here so with the pivot index 3 how does the array become 4 5 6 7 and 0 1 2 so basically from the index to n minus 1 indexes we have at the first and then from 0 to index minus 1 we have the loss of the array so here how can we apply binary search so firstly what steps remain same finding the mid remains same because it's just uh, same thing uh, using left and right by 2 and then uh, we have to check if the left uh, array is sorted in the left half or array is sorted in the right half and then next step is here we have to decide which part of the array to search so for that uh, we just need to know if this part of the array is sorted so for knowing that we can check if left element is less than the mid element if that is the case then we can say that this part of the array is sorted okay so if that is sorted then what we should check so we should check if the target lies between this left and mid okay if that is the case then uh, we can adjust our right to mid minus one right so because like we have the target in this boundary we can search in this boundary only so here right becomes mid minus one else like if this not is in this range then we should uh, make our left to point to mid plus one because like obviously we don't have the target here then we don't need to search here right because this is the sorted array uh, we just checked if uh, this element is less than the mid element okay and the next step we have to check if the right half is sorted so like this is when left half is sorted so how do we check the right half is sorted we just need to check if the nums of mid is less than the nums of right so here uh, 7 less than 2 no like for our case it was a uh, sorted in the first half okay left half is sorted so let's say for some array we have the right half sorted so in that case uh, we just need to check like if the target lies in the range of mid to right so uh, if it lies in this range then uh, we can adjust our left to point to mid plus one because uh, we don't need to search in the left half of the array and then if it not the case then we have to search in the left half so that's why we have to keep our right to point to mid minus one so it's just a basic thing so here we just need to keep shrinking our boundaries each time okay so let's look into algorithm this is just what we discussed okay nothing fancy so step one initialize two pointers left at the start and right at the end of the array this is basic thing okay next is begin a binary search loop calculate the middle index mid and compare the middle element nums of mid with the target so this is what we just discussed we just need to compare the nums of mid or target so if it is same we can just sit in the index 
so if it is not same we have to continue so determine which part of the array the target could be in so firstly we check if the left half that is from the left to mid is sorted if s yes, check if the target is within this range by comparing it with the nums of left and nums of mid we just discussed right and then if it and then if it lies in this spot adjust the right pointer to search the left half otherwise move the left pointer to the right half this is same thing we just discussed so otherwise in the next case where if the left half isn't sorted the right half from mid to right must be sorted similarly here also we have to check if the target lies within the range by comparing it with the nums of mid and right if s adjust the left pointer to search this half otherwise search the left half okay whatever we discuss i just put in the proper format here that's all step 4 we continue adjusting the left and right pointers until the target is found or pointers overlap so if pointers overlap it means that our element is not there in the list we can just return as minus 1 so that's what is written in the step 5 if the target is not found after exiting the loop we just return minus 1 okay so let's look into code so same thing uh, we just discussed right here left and right we are in slash 0 and length of nums minus 1 these are the two extreme indexes we have okay and then we begin the binary search loop so here we have to continue the loop till left less than or equal to right because if left is greater than right then it means that we have overlapped the pointers so we don't need to search further right we just it uh, exactly our search space that's why so here first step is to find the mid mid is equal to left plus right by two we know this we just discussed and then third step we check if the middle element is a target so here like luckily if the middle element is target we can just return here itself that's why we just check it so in that case we just return the mid because uh, mid is the index here so in the step four we determine which part of the array to search so for that firstly we check if uh, nums of left is less than or equal to nums of mid so that means to say that uh, if this part of the array or left half of this array is sorted if that is sorted then we check if our target lies within this range so for that we check if nums of left less than or equal to target less than nums so why here we're not doing equal to because we already did this check right it's definitely not equal that's why we came here so here we can keep less than check okay if uh, this condition satisfied it means that our target lies within this range so we have to search within this range only that's why we shrinking our right pointer to mid minus one so till this range only we'll check so in other case we don't have this target in this range so that's why we move our left pointer to mid plus one in this range we check okay so in other case where other half is sorted so that means that right half is sorted so that is that like nums of mid is less than or equal to nums of right okay so in this case we check firstly if the target is lies within this range this is the same check we have so if it lies within this the range we just need to adjust our left to mid plus one because we don't have it in the left half right so if it doesn't lie in this range that means that we don't have it in the right half so we had to adjust our boundaries in such a way that we had to search in the left half for that we keep our right discourse to mid minus one simple right so we just need to string the boundaries as per the conditions we get so we'll continue this until this condition satisfies if at all we found the target we just return the index if not at the end we return the minus one because the target is not found so what are complex is here time complexity is o of log n because each time we are halving our search space that means that n by 2 n by 2 n by 2 like that it goes on and it would be a log n if you calculate it, it would be coming as log n so that's a basic calculation we have so simply whenever you're doing the search space as half you can take it as time complex as o of log n next space complex is o of 1 because we don't have any data structure that goes with size of the input array we're just using some variables here okay i got the code ready here let me run in this so it is accepted for three cases let me just submit in this so cool it's accept solution for all the test cases so this is our o of log n solution okay also don't worry about this percentage bidding okay basically it depends on number of uh, requests the lead code server is handling if you submit this answer again it would show different percentages so let's submit that see now it shows 22.45 so basically what i'm saying is this could never benchmark our solutions complexity okay so even if the same complex solution is submitted again it's showing the different answer if a solution is pretty much optimized and within the constraints given then that's pretty much good you don't need to care about this bidding percentage okay so congrats guys you just learned this as a modified binary search hope you will be able to apply this concept in other problems as well and that's your wrap on solving the search in the rotated array problem using two different approaches 
If you found this video useful, drop a comment below and share your thoughts. Don't forget to like this video, spread the word to your fellow coders and hit the subscribe button for more in-depth coding tutorials. Also do follow on Instagram for latest updates and see you in the next one.